Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about a very prestigious postdoctoral fellowship which is offered by the Road Trust and this is the Schmidt Science Fellowship. And this fellowship is essentially given to do interdisciplinary research. It assumes you have done a PhD degree and you need to be somebody who makes a case that you are going to do interdisciplinary research in your postdoc such that this research is going to benefit the world, it's going to improve the quality of life and such noble things. So essentially you need to focus on how science and technology can help to improve social welfare and public goods in general. Now this fellowship can be done by people who are from the natural sciences, math, engineering and computer science. You need to have a strong record during your PhD. So I would essentially assume that this means that your research should have left to some, some decent journal publication. So that would probably be the meaning of strong track record. Now this postdoctoral fellowship is for 12 to 24 months and the fellow must make a disciplinary pivot from his PhD problem. So this is an important aspect of the fellowship that whatever you are doing in your PhD, you need to make a delta change from it so that you do something different. Of course, you will be using your skills which you develop during the PhD, but in the postdoc, you try to integrate this old skill with some new skills so that you can make a greater impact in the field. Now, I have told you many times on my channel that as far as the top end research which is happening nowadays or which is even possible, it generally happens at the intersection of two domains. So some examples could be if you are a biochemist and you want to do molecular biology, you are a physicist and you want to work in computer science aspects of physics. So for example, I know there are people who are using physics based neural networks. So these kind of things are possible. So anything which is multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary and shows that you have made a disciplinary pivot from their PhD topic toward interdisciplinary research is welcomed by this Schmidt Science Fellowship. Now, what do you have to do? Essentially, you have to pick some world leading leaders and internationally recognized labs as the place where you're going to do your postdoctoral work. Now, the program is going to work with you to essentially finalize on these labs, but when you start to apply for this fellowship, you can pick up to three such places. So that's something you need to give three potential placement location. These are not final or pending, but what this is going to do is this is going to force you to look around at the different universities at the different people and look at different problems and think about what you can do about your problem. So, Let's discuss some more aspects about what you can do to select this lab. Now, this lab can be anywhere in the world. So you are allowed to select any lab in the world. So when I see the people who have got the Schmidt Fellow, I see that they have selected some of the top universities in the world. And of course, that should be the point because if this fellowship is just giving you money to go to any lab, you want to select the top universities in the world to go there. The stipend they are going to pay you is $100,000 per year, which is very reasonable and therefore it's going to be one of the higher paying postdocs as far as the postdoc salaries are concerned. Now, one of the interesting things about this postdoc is that is a global meeting series where you go to some place and there is a lot of networking there. You can develop your skills, you can learn a lot of new skills, for example, leadership, management, funding, finance, society, collaboration, and so on. And these meetings are completely free. They are held at nice locations around the world. And so you can certainly go for these three me week meetings and learn a lot there and also develop this network because like I have told you, all these fellowships come with a lot of networking. You don't essentially have to try to force yourself to network just by being there with the remaining 20 to 40 fellows, you are going to develop a lot of networks on their own. So that's something to keep in mind. They are going to provide you with a nominated mentor. So this is going to be a professor or senior person who is going to specifically act as a mentor for you so that you grow a lot. Now, 
Remember in this fellowship, they are trying to develop the future generation of science and technology leaders. So it's not just about doing the work as a technical person, but also developing some leadership skills so that down the road you are ready to lead some major activity as far as research is concerned. Now, how do you get into this program? Essentially, you need to be nominated by somebody who is an expert and a designated top person in some university. So you need to figure out from the web page and by sending email to people in the fellowship system as to who are the people in your country who are able to nominate you for this fellowship. And suddenly they are going to see whether you are a very strong candidate because you need to have a very good resume and record and a CV to make the case for this candidate. And then they are also going to see what is your disciplinary pivot because the disciplinary pivot should be interesting. It should again be, fo be focused on some of these issues like benefiting the world, improving the quality of life for all and so on. So you can immediately think of problems such as how would you improve food security? How would you improve the climate change issues? How would you improve the water resources management around the world? Maybe solution of problems of infectious diseases, maybe transportation, maybe the mental health problems of people. So there are so many issues which are out there which can be considered to be beneficial to people at large. And so this Schmidt Science Fellowship lets you do the research and lets you spend a nice period of one to two years in doing this research. Now, when I went through some of the recent fellows, I found that they are from around the world and they are from some of the good universities around the world. So you can check out these fellows and apply for this fellowship. Now, note that this fellowship is completely global. So you can apply. The only thing is you need to have a good resume. You need to make a good case as to why they should give you this fellowship. And you should, during your PhD, try to write some excellent journal papers, maybe even go to conferences so that you have a clear idea of where you are going. Now, many PhD students do their research but do not think big. So one of the things is you need to think big because you need to think about the possible work you are going to do following your PhD. And the Schmidt Science Fellow is trying to make you think in directions which are going to be beneficial to humanity rather than simply trying to solve problems which are presented to you by somebody else. So what this does is it generates new concepts from young people and these concepts can be ones which are not actually thought of by the established science community at large. So that was my take on the Schmidt Science Fellowship. I will give the web page link in the comment section or in the description box and you can suddenly take a look at all the different fellows who have been there and their fields and so on and think about how you can apply for this fellowship if you are currently a PhD student or even a professor who can mentor PhD student. So I will stop this video here and I will see you in a video sometime soon. See you then.